Welcome to Mercury, Guardian. We have infinite realities to explore. And all the time in the world. What's up guys, I'm Reckless and welcome to Guardian Watcher. Once again, if you have not seen the thumbnail, there are spoilers ahead for the Curse of Osiris. So, if you don't want to know what is going on, then I suggest you click off the video right now. You have been warned. All others are more than welcome to stay. In this video, I will be going in depth with the second Curse of Osiris reveal that Bungie has done yesterday. Now, I understand this video might be a little bit late, however, this video is primarily for those who haven't seen the reveal, want a shorter version of it, or if there was something that you missed in the reveal itself. So let's get started. Everything that I talk about will be on Mercury, and we will be getting a new public event called Vex Crossroads. In this public event, we will need to kill the Vex in order to draw out the gatekeepers. There will be different islands where we will have to kill the gatekeepers and get a key. We will then need to dunk the key like we did in the Taken King raid in order to progress. After you complete that process several times, we will need to defeat a Gate Lord. While doing this public event, other Guardians can see the public event in progress from the Lighthouse. If you complete the heroic version of that public event, we can loot two chests instead of just one. Mercury tokens, in conjunction with armor or weapons, will be given after completing the public event. In the Mercury social space, there are mysteries that can be solved. However, you need to be attentive in the social space in order to figure these out. Brother Vance will give you new missions and new adventures that can only be explored on Mercury. We will be getting new emotes in Season 2 which will go live when the Curse of Osiris is released and all Season 1 emotes will be gone forever. And I put forever in quotes because I feel that Bungie will eventually bring them back later on down the line. The new endgame reward system will be called Lost Prophecies, and they are mini quests that reward you with a new weapon. The reveal showed us verse 3, 4, and 10, and there are 11 verses in total, even though there are 12 nodes. Apparently one of them aren't working. And yes, that is a thing that Bungie did on purpose. Not sure if that 12th node will be available after we complete the 11 though. After you collect one of the verses, you can locate them in your inventory. In the details, it will tell you where the resources are or what you need to complete in order to get the resources. These items can be consumed and progression will be made in the verse for the Lost Prophecy. When you complete a Lost Prophecy, you will be given a Prophecy Tablet. You then need to bring that tablet to Brother Vance to transmute it, then go to the forge to forge the new weapon. These weapons are a fusion of our technology as Guardians as well as the Vex technology. Verse 3 will get you the Jack Queen King 3, which is a legendary hand cannon that goes in your energy weapon slot. We will be getting two new strikes for the expansion that are integrated in the Curse of Osiris campaign. However, after the campaign, changes to those strikes will be more focused on the three player experience and put into a strike playlist rotation. Next, let's talk about adventures. Adventures will have new modifiers each time you do them. Heroic adventures will be, quote, very, very challenging, end quote. Each adventure will have its own theme. The Up and Up is one of the new adventures for the new expansion. The theme for this adventure is that you will be doing a lot of upward jumping puzzles with disappearing Vex platforms. As of the reveal, the first objective is to step into the future. In order to complete this, we need to get to a gate, and we will have to fight different enemies on different planes in order to make it to the gate. The enemies will not always be the same though. After getting through to the gate, which will take us to the dark future, which if you heard from the last reveal, there is no light, no darkness, only the Vex. The mission objective will update, and then we will have to recon the experiment site as well as defeat two guards. The third part of this adventure has you recon the experiment site, but also eliminate the fallen, 
And then the final part of this adventure is to eliminate the fallen captain. When you collect the chest, you will be awarded with two mercury tokens and a piece of armor or weapon. Surprisingly, in the Infinite Forest, we will only be fighting the Vex and Cabal, but also the Fallen and Hive as well. Quote, every time you will play something you will have not experienced prior. End quote. All four enemy combatants, which are the Fallen, Hive, Cabal, and the Vex, will randomly change inside the Infinite Forest. And that, fellow guardians, brings us to the end. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share it, and if you have any idea for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Feedback is always appreciated. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more Destiny content. Thank you guys for all of your support. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.